Washington, and welcome to Redefining Wealth, where we chase purpose, not money. In this six-part series, I'm introducing you to the six pillars that help you create the foundation for redefining wealth. Right now, we're going into number three, which is space. And one thing you have to understand about wealth is it's about the ability to control and maximize your time. But the unfortunate part is a lot of us waste so much time, and as you know, time is money. So check out these statistics. According to Newsweek, the average American wastes 55 minutes a day looking for things that they own but cannot find. That equates to like 12 days per year. According to Forbes, the average executive actually wastes 150 hours per year looking for lost information. So if you're an executive and your average salary is $50,000, we're talking about you wasting $3,900 a year just in looking for stuff. I don't know about you, but who has that type of money to waste because something is always lost? So let's talk about another example. Ladies, stay with me on this one. Have you ever been ready to go, grabbed your purse, went to get your keys, and then got stuck because you could not find your keys? And you rifled through your purse, set it down, couldn't find the keys, walked all around the house or the office, came back to the purse, shook it up, looked in there again, still couldn't find it, and before you know it, 15 minutes have passed and you still cannot find your keys, only to come back to that purse dump it out and realize the keys were there all along. Here's the moral of the story. I really believe that most of us do not just misplace things. Most of us cannot find what we're looking for because of clutter, because something is disorganized and out of place. And here's what you need to know. Clutter is simply a physical manifestation of chaos in the mind. Let that sink in. Clutter is a physical manifestation of chaos in the mind. So as a writer, as a content creator, I even realize that when I get writer's block, when I get stuck and I can't move forward and hours have gone by and I have nothing on the page, that I have to take a look around and figure out where is that energy getting stuck? Like why am I not able to move forward despite my best intentions to make progress? And when I do that, I immediately stop trying to push myself to get it done and I look around and I start to clean up. I clean off my desk, I clean any areas where something is disorganized and I immediately begin to feel like I'm back in the flow. Why is that? Because clutter is where energy gets stuck. It prevents you from being in the flow and when you really think about it, what is money anyway? It's currency. And that means that in order to attract more money, you have to stay in the flow. The other thing that I realized is that when my space is in order, I also take more precautions with who I allow in my space. I take more precautions with making sure that I protect the energy, the integrity, and the peace of my space. So when we talk about space at patricewashington.com, not only are we gonna talk about organization and some beautification, but we're also gonna talk about making sure that we protect the peace and integrity of the space and keep all negative energy out because that does not attract prosperity. Now, I wanna hear from you. So share with me in the comments, are you intentional about protecting your space? Are you intentional about setting up your life so that it supports you and you can save time and money? If so, I'm so glad to hear that because I want you to stay in this community. I'm building a community of women in particular who want to live their life's purpose, find fulfillment, and earn more without ever chasing money. So stay connected so that I can teach you the next step in redefining wealth.